Hello, today we are going to take a look at my GBL speakers. As you can see, we've got a set of three speakers, one a subwoofer and two satellites. If someone had a vivid imagination and called them a creature. And the name creature have something because they they look little bit like an alien something so yes they they, they look like a like creature but they've got a problem both the satellite speaker fail and this membrane just tore completely apart and they do not work I managed to find a speaker that someone on the YouTube post that actually my feet. I was trying a couple of speakers that I've got in my lab, but I was completely unable to find a replacement and that was just a last call because the size is little bit weird let's take a look what came from China I was waiting almost a month for that or maybe a little bit over and let's take a look if this replacement will fit I think there is a chance I would expect that this is going to be a slightly lower power. Let's take a, let's remove that element and we should gain access to the to the speaker itself. Let me find a way of how to how to remove this. And yes, this is our, looks like it's going to fit perfectly. Looks very, very same. Is that glue? I have to find a way, maybe rotate. Okay, so this is our broken speaker, the membrane is long gone, dissolve in some kind of way, and let's take a look. So it's not looking that good, the rim on the replacement is too wide and I'm unable to fit that inside if you take a look at the original part there is a element that's sticking over there and you have to align that that going like this and you rotate it and it held in place and that part is wider than this by itself so there is absolutely this is a tiny difference but it is completely impossible to use that as a drop-in replacement so that model forget about just putting it but that doesn't mean that I'm going to to throw it away I'm I'm either going to sand that part and make it wider or I'm going to glue that on the outside and yes I know that this is going to change the the audio the resonance of the the whole enclosure but sometimes you have to sacrifice something if you would like to fix a device and not to 
throw it away because the having the exactly o OM part would be impossible to get. So I'm going to I'm going to glue that and we are going to check how it sound. Now let's quickly take a look what happened. I use the epoxy glue to hold in place this tiny speaker by the rim to that plastic element. You have to be extra careful not to contaminate the membrane by any of the of the glue because that would make this unusable as you can see it looks terrible and I'm pretty sure that it's not going to sound that great that it was because that was playing pretty decent the GBL is uh, quite good in speakers but this unit was meant to be thrown away into garbage or uh, electronic waste so maybe we are being able to give it a second chance this is how it looks like after after mounting as you can see there is a I didn't use the the element that was from the factory that part I it do not have a, a space I'm going to put something between the 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 magnet and that part some kind of distance from the foam most likely to prevent from the vibration and we are going to try to power it on okay so let's try to put together the second one and use I use that tiny part of foamy thing to hold in place and prevent the vibration and let's take a look what we've got over here I'm going to put it on the back and the bottom we've got our positive and the negative to the positive we are going to solder the red lid just from the technical point and I recommend you removing that that grill that part and there are tiny stud one two three and there are three holes one two three and you have to align them to properly together and there are all aligned perfectly now we are being able to put this part and use the screw and it's nicely held in place. I'm going to solder this and we are going to power it on. Okay, so I'm impressed. I put everything back together and I'm really, really impressed with the audio quality. I was pretty sure that that change is going to affect, but it's still sound pretty decent and we've got a really good fix of course I, I cannot show you a more representative music for for testing that I was playing off the camera but it sounds really good Yeah.
Something a little bit different. Sounds pretty good, so in my opinion we've got a good fix and we are going to do a last measurement because as you can hear everything looks good. This is the, the speaker that I buy, but if you would like to make it better without all the hassle, the maximum dimension of the, the speaker rim should be below let me measure that nicely 36 millimeter you should stay below that to be able to fit that inside the existing enclosure and not to glue that on the outside so yes that's how it looks like I believe we've got a, a very good fix for the price we save our device and even if it not sound like a, a brand new GBL on the genuine part, it looks pretty decent. You can't tell from the from the outside. And in my opinion, we've got a good fix. We fixed our device, and we are happy. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time, and bye bye.